Hey, what's up everybody? It's DK Productions, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite video game. So, I've done it a couple times. I've been streaming Overwatch. I mean, they're not very good because I don't know if you can actually see my Switch very well. But, I do it. Overwatch is a super fun game, and if you don't know what it is, it's a six-person team-based first-person shooter game. And, one thing that I've often had is people say, well, that's really violent. Why would you let your kid play that? Like... And I will say, literally look at Call of Duty or Fortnite. And one thing that, one I think that probably the main reason that my parents actually let me play the game is because it's, there's no, re I mean, there's guns, but it's not real weapons. Like, the one character, Lucio, he shoots sound. He has a sound amplifier is his weapon. Um, Winston literally zaps people. No gun there. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about why I think Overwatch was a discontinued line. So if you remember back in 2018, late 2018, we got the rumor that we were going to be getting seven LEGO Overwatch sets um, over the course of the year. And it ended up being true. I remember watching Justin's video about the sets being revealed and like, oh my god, I don't play this game but I need. So I did start playing Overwatch late two years ago and I just liked the game a lot and unfortunately I wasn't really playing it too much when these sets came out so I got the D.Va and Reinhardt set just because I like D.Va she's like a pretty cool character and Reinhardt was cool and then I got the Dorado showdown and I think that's all I ended up getting and it's kind of a bummer because a lot of the figures now like Farah, is a character I like to play she's like a $40 minifigure and I that's the only one I can find or, and in those situations, like, oh, you might as well just buy the set. But, um, we're going to talk about why Overwatch was kind of like a discontinued theme. So, I think the main reason was, is because, like, it was probably getting flack because when you first look at it, it is a very seemingly violent game. I mean, you can have your own opinion, but I don't feel like it is a violent game. And I'm disappointed that they discontinued it because I feel like they could have done something with this theme. I think it could have been really cool if we got other sets, like more things. Um, like I think Watchpoint Gibraltar was a pretty weak set and it was kind of frustrating because like that was our big Overwatch set that came with like Mercy and Winston and Farah, and it was not a great set because honestly Gibraltar is not the most recognizable map. It is not at all. I would say Probably one of the most recognizable maps is probably Hanamura. That's pretty recognizable. Um, Eichenwald, Blizzard World, Havana. Those are all pretty recognizable maps, and I feel like there's things they could have done from that that would have been way cooler. Like, if they actually made the, like, the, the point, point A, the capture point on Li Zheng Tower, like the actual tower one, that would be super cool. And, like, they made the night market... Like, it'd be, like, a base plate, and, like, there'd be the little shops, and then the capture point. I think that would be super cool, and I think it'd just be really cool to see more heroes, because they did such a phenomenal job on these heroes. Like, if I show you the D.Va figure in here, like, it's a really good figure, and, like, it's just such a good, high-quality figure. The print is really good. The hair piece is new. That face print is new, and I think it would have been really cool to see heroes, like, Mercy, I'm uh, not Mercy, Moira, um, Zenyatta, Lucio, um, I mean, I know Sigma wasn't out, but Sigma, Zarya, Ash, there's all these heroes that we just didn't get, and it would be really cool to see them, and, like, you could just scatter them in this set, like, two figures here, and then two figures here, and then a couple figures here, and, like, you eventually get all these heroes, and I just think it would be so cool if, like, you could actually make, like, that title screen with all the heroes. And, like, you could make a Numbani scene and you could have, like, a $20 set, the little capture point from Numbani or the payload from Numbani, and include, like, a buildable Orisa. That would be super cool and I would buy that. Um, I think they could have made, like, a little thing from Oasis. They could have done, like, the little maybe falling area, like, where you can fall in or, like, a little dome spot. 
and you could have included the Symmetra minifigure. It just would have been really cool to do that, and it's kind of just disappointing that I almost feel like they wasted their opportunity to have a really, like, cool set line. Um, so, there was the rumor, this was a rumor that I actually heard just a couple days ago, and nobody's actually touched on it, and it's the rumor that we might be getting a new Overwatch CMF minifigure series next summer. So after the Looney Tunes series, we're going to potentially be getting an Overwatch minifigure series, which would be incredible because, like, I love Overwatch, and that way we could get the heroes we want. And the only unfortunate thing to me about that is we wouldn't be able to get a hero like Arissa because Arissa would probably be buildable like Diva and Reinhardt. Um, and we wouldn't be able to get any more big figs. I don't know what they would do for Zarya, but it would just be really cool to get more of these figures because I feel like they kind of missed something here. That they, like, May? Like, everybody would love to have a May figure. I'm just kidding. Everybody hates May, except for me. Um, but Anna, there's just so many missed opportunities to me. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.